Proper Wandering Sama Paribhajaniya Sutta I asked the Muni, one of abundant wisdom, who has crossed over, gone beyond, attained Nibbana inwardly firm, having renounced the home life and discarded the sensual pleasures. How would that bhikkhu properly wander in the world? When he was uprooted, concerned with blessings, said the Blessed One, with portents, dreams and lucky signs, when he has abandoned the defects of blessings, that bhikkhu would properly wander in the world. A bhikkhu should remove lust for sensual pleasures, for pleasures both human and celestial. Having transcended existence, having penetrated the Dhamma, he would properly wander in the world. Having put behind him divisive words, a bhikkhu should discard anger and meanness. When he has abandoned attraction and repulsion, he would properly wander in the world. Having abandoned what is pleasing and displeasing, without clinging, not depending on anything, utterly released from things that fatter, he would properly wander in the world. He does not find a core in acquisitions. Having removed desire and lust for things taken up, not dependent, not to be led by others, he would properly wander in the world. Not hostile by speech, mind and deed, having rightly understood the Dhamma, aspiring for the state of Nibbana, he would properly wander in the world. A bhikkhu should not be elated, thinking, he venerates me, and though insulted, he should not nurture resentment, he should not be intoxicated over good gained from others. He would properly wander in the world. Having abandoned greed and existence, a bhikkhu refraining from wounding and binding, who has overcome perplexity without darts, he would properly wander the world. Having understood what is suitable for him, a bhikkhu would not injure anyone in the world. Having understood the Dhamma as it is, he would properly wander in the world. One who has no latent tendencies at all, those unwholesome roots have been uprooted, who is wishless, without expectations, he would properly wander in the world. One with refluxes destroyed, with conceit abandoned, who has transcended the entire pathway of lust, tamed, quenched, inwardly firm, he would properly wander in the world. Endowed with faith, learned a seer of fixed course, a wise one who among partisans does not take sides, having removed greed, hatred 
aversion, he would properly wander in the world. A purified conqueror whose coverings are removed, a master of things gone beyond without impasse, skilled in the knowledge of the cessation of conditioned things, he would properly wander in the world. One who has overcome mental constructs about things past and future. Having overcome wise about purity, released from all the sense bases, he would properly wander in the world. Having known the state, having penetrated the Dhamma, having seen clearly the abandoning of the influxes with the utter destruction of all acquisitions, he would properly wander in the world. Surely, blessed one, it is just so. One who dwells thus is a tamed bhikkhu and has transcended all the things that fetter. He would properly wander in the world. Mm-hmm.